Hey everybody, it's Twain with Nutrina with Fritz Frizzle. We're here today to talk about your very first winter with chickens. Now there's no need to panic. Chickens are really tough. They get through it just fine. A couple years ago we had the polar vortex. It was 45 below. We did not lose a single chicken. We do not heat our coop, nor is our coop insulated. The big key thing is here, you need to keep them dry and out of the elements. The reason you don't want to heat your coop is it is an extreme fire hazard. I'm not a fan of doing that at all. Uh, you always have that one chicken that's going to want to get up on the heat lamp, knock it down into your shavings and get a fire going. And it really does happen. So don't heat your coop. Chickens are very, very tough when it comes to cold. They don't metabolize cold the same way a mammal does. So as long as you keep them dry and out of the elements, they do really, really well. One of the things when you winterize your chickens or you're getting ready for that winter time, your chickens will get bored because they don't really like to go outside in the elements. So they get bored, they get in trouble. And they may start eating each other's feathers, they may start eating eggs. If you give them something to play with or something to what we call a boredom buster, flock blocks work great for that. Uh, it keeps them busy. This will help reduce them picking feathers and eating eggs. Another key aspect of winterizing your chickens is you must make sure they have water available all the time. If they dehydrate just a little bit, they'll stop laying on you. Another issue is you really, if you're going to do an extension cord, make sure that extension cord is outdoor safe and heavy duty enough. I'm not a big fan of extension cords. If you don't have electricity to your coop, you're going to have to take water out there several times a day. There you have it, folks. We hope you've learned something new, and be sure to check out NutrinaPoultryFeed.com to find the feed that's right for your flock.